What's the plan now? You go back to your cell? Yep, for the rest of the day. For the rest of the day. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 terrifying Louis Theroux moments. Whoa! That hit us. Jeez. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the moments from Louis Theroux's career and documentaries that left us feeling scared, nervous, or just deeply uncomfortable. A warning that these entries deal with difficult subjects, and some of the clips contain strong language and upsetting scenes. Number 10. Huntington's Epidemic How old were you when you first got involved in, in a serious way with a serious opiates? Way? I no, about 17. At number 10 on our list is one of Louis's most recent documentaries, and most saddening. In episode 1 of his Dark State series, he explores the community of Huntington, West Virginia, a city gripped by one of the worst heroin epidemics in American history. Fill this hole inside you with anything other than God. That hole, man, that's what he, I hear a lot of people, that's, that hole's no, no, there. Buddy. You know, there is a big hole. It's, right now, I'm in the winter and I feel that big hole in my chest, you know. Whilst exploring the community and meeting those addicted to heroin within the city, Theroux quickly develops an understanding on how addicts' lives can become so dependent on the drug and how their usage of it can have devastating consequences for them and their loved ones. It's a difficult watch, and you can see the sadness in Theroux's eyes as he discovers just how substantial Huntington's heroin problem really is. How are you doing? Huh? How are you doing? I'm all right. Give me just a second. Should we wait? Just for a minute. Okay, cool. Right, cool. Thank you. Number nine, fearing for his own life. And I want to experience that for one last time. That's why I'm leaving. The next moment happened off camera, but it had to be included as it's a moment Theroux himself describes as one where he genuinely felt nervous and in fear for his life. While filming his Drinking to Oblivion documentary in 2016, Theroux and his team had to deal with two individuals who wouldn't take kindly to having their experiences with alcohol documented on camera. Theroux states that one of the individuals put him in a headlock that was so tight he actually thought his neck might snap and that would be it. It's a moment that would have shocked viewers and made them feel all sorts of apprehension had the sequence been included in the final film. Becoming inseparable from your sense of who you are until a different, better life no longer looks possible. Number 8. Prison Politics Tell me what you're doing over here, you're just relaxing? We're the white guys. Are you the white gang? In a one-off episode, Louis Theroux travels to one of America's most notorious prisons, San Quentin, to meet inmates of the jail made up of serial killers, gang leaders, and some of America's most violent criminals. Theroux stayed for two weeks at the prison, and he learned a lot about the politics of prison life. We did get beat up. Who would beat you up? Me. One aspect of this is racial segregation, a political position so strictly enforced by the inmates that two white prisoners warned Theroux not to share food with any of the black prisoners or risk being beaten up for doing so. Probably just mob you, like, like two or three dudes would just attack you. Three dudes would come up and attack me and do what? Pummel me? Punch me? How bad? Until the cops stop them. Louis seems genuinely taken aback by such strong feelings, and the mealtime becomes even more chilling when the prisoners seem content with having such systems in place. Number 7. An Unnerving Rally Louis had encountered multiple experiences of racism in the past, but maybe none as profound as this next entry. Whilst filming a documentary covering the issues of racism in American society, Louis interviews and spends time with a number of neo-Nazis and white supremacists to try and understand why they hold the beliefs they do. One way in which he tries to achieve this is by attending a rally, where a large number of neo-Nazis gather. You want, any of you guys want to talk about Tom for the documentary I at gotta all? go back here. I don't talk to Whilst at the rally, Louis listens to deeply disturbing racist speeches that fully vocalize the extreme ideologies this corner of American society subscribed to. Revolution! Revolution! 
it makes for very shocking and uncomfortable viewing. I've always said I wouldn't leave California because this is going to be the start of the second American Civil War. Number six, racial tensions with police. During his visit to the city of Philadelphia, Louis Theroux wanted to explore how the city's police force coexisted with the city's communities and how serving police officers were asked to deal with crime on a regular basis. Turn on! In one situation, the police make arrests in an African-American community. Many residents feel the police are too forceful and aggressive in their approach, and tensions threaten to boil over into something more violent. And Theroux is there to witness the underlying racial tensions between these two aspects of Philadelphian society firsthand. It's a haunting reminder of how fractious relationships between law enforcement and the wider community remain a contemporary problem in American society. You okay? Sarge? You okay? You okay? Yeah. Number five, too close for comfort. Whoa, that hit us. That was a rock. That was. Louis Theroux has traveled to parts of the world where political, social, and cultural differences are clear to see. This documentary follows the continuing and expanding settlements of Israeli nationalists into the West Bank, an area with a largely Arabic population that Israel has controlled since the late 1960s, and an area which is recognized by international law as belonging to the state of Palestine. <laughs> Because both Israel and Palestine claim that Jerusalem is their capital city, the continuing animosities between the two sides are clear to see when Louis witnesses tear gas being used in an East Jerusalem riot. It's clear from Theroux's facial expressions and manner that he is apprehensive as this deeply complex political problem escalates around him. I wondered if Boaz was still in his house. Number four, a tense standoff. In a feature-length documentary film, Louis Theroux decided to focus on the subject of Scientology and the mysterious nature of the religious organization. Louis. Um, Louis? Louis. Okay, the road's closed, you're trespassing, and you need to leave. A apparently, it's a, it's a public road. No, it isn't. The Church of Scientology had refused to cooperate with the making of Theroux's documentary as he attempted to discover what the church really stands for and its place within American culture and society. Towards the end of the film, Theroux enters a road-closed area that is both eerie and unnerving. Are you so stupid you cannot see the sign that says road closed? But look, is it's... Is there anything about that that you don't understand? We, closed? Look, well, look, I've got a permit. Do you know what... A woman and her cameraman in inform Louis that he's trespassing and needs to leave. An unsettling standoff occurs when Theroux states he has a permit. Tell him to why, stop. Why, you tell him to stop. Tell him to stop. You tell him to stop and I'll tell him to stop. How about that? Stop. The woman becomes more aggressive and volatile in her language, begging the question as to why she refuses to talk to Louis. Can we talk to you? Are you in the Sea Org as well? Number three, Koalinga. Hospital policy is to refer to them as individuals. In this next entry, Louis travels to Koalinga Mental Hospital, a medical facility in California that houses some of the state's most serious and serial sex offenders. Did he say 50 victims? Yeah, he's estimate, he estimates about 50 victims. Some patients and psychologists are very open about the past crimes of those at Koalinga. The documentary is uncomfortable viewing, and you can see Theroux grappling in a way as he tries to understand the patients and who they are while at the same time remaining consciously aware of the crimes each of them has committed. They all combine and shine to me. Number two, Louis' interview with Jimmy Savile. How did you get the address? No, no, I'll get anything, mate. How did you get it, though? I can get anything. In the early 2000s, Louis Theroux decided to move away from his Weird Weekends documentaries in the US. 
and focus on interviewing British celebrities at home. The first episode of his When Louis Met series was interviewing Jimmy Savile, a former television presenter and convicted offender. At the time the documentary was filmed, Savile hadn't been charged or convicted with any criminal charges, but rumors of his crimes were something Theroux was aware of. Why do you say in interviews that you hate children when I've seen you with kids and um, you clearly enjoy their company and you have a good rapport with them. Right. In the documentary, Theroux asks Savile about these allegations, which is met with an evasive response. Tabloids don't, you know, pursue this whole, uh, is he, isn't he a paedophile yes. line, basically. Yes. Yes. In 2021, with countless victims having come forward and given evidence to Savile's history of abuse, Looking back on this particular documentary leaves a chilling and terrifying feeling knowing who Savile really was. Number 1. Things Turn Hostile During his documentary covering white supremacists and neo-Nazis in California, Louis meets a family that is helping to organize a white supremacist rally. The family openly shows their beliefs with Confederate flags and swastikas pinned and on open display in their garage. Louis is a Jew. We already know it. I already know it. You're a Jew. That's why you got so much animosity. Wait, okay. That's why you we have can't so much say you don't look like a Jew. Wait. When Louis asks the question about if he was Jewish, would that be a problem, the atmosphere changes and the neo-Nazis become increasingly hostile and ask numerous times whether he's Jewish or not. Theroux isn't Jewish and remains defiant that he won't answer the question as it shouldn't matter whether he's Jewish or not. We want to know if you're a Jew, and if we let you into our house to film our everyday ritual, Even are you, you a are. Jew? I don't feel as though, I mean, maybe you disagree, I don't feel as though I've kind of compelled you to say anything. No. Or Things get so intense that the family demands the documentary cease filming for a moment, a point where you genuinely fear for Louis' safety. Same Can we way. turn the camera off for a second? Pull, pull, pull the plug? Pull the plug for a second? What for? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.